What is going on, guys? It is your boy, Gamers Goon, here today to do the Survivor Series predictions. Now, I just got done filming the NXT ones, and my boy's kind of feeling a little, a little hoarse right now, so we'll get through this. We'll get through this, but let's talk Survivor Series, people. Let's start off with the match that's on the poster. We're going to start off hot. We're going to go Becky Lynch, Bailey. Shayna Bay is a race of no time today, fellas. The brand supremacy triple threat match. I will be in attendance, and you want to know who I'm going to be rooting for? I might be a Becky Lynch fan. I might be a Bailey fan, but but I'm also a Shayna fan. So uh, somebody that a lot of people don't like is Shayna Bay. They don't get her style, but somebody that realizes her talent is me. I've loved Shayna Baszler, and I am actually going to be rooting for Shayna this weekend. Um, I want to see Shayna Baszler win, and I think she will. I think Shayna Baszler is in this story with Becky where they're telling each other, you know what, I'm going to beat you. No, I'm beating you. You're going to tap out to my my disarmor. No, you're going to pass out to my sleeper. What if Becky does nothing to Shayna, Shayna does nothing to Becky, to end the match, huh? What if Becky pins Baszler? What if Shayna submits Baszler? We might be in this situation now where, what are we? We're in late November. December, January, February, March. April. Five months, five months. What if Shayna does not beat Becky, but Shayna beats Bailey? And then, once again, Becky becomes angry at her situation. She wins the Rumble. And since she's a champion, why challenge Bailey? Let me, let me challenge the NXT champion for the NXT championship at WrestleMania. Then we have a situation very similar to last year where we have Ronda Rousey with MMA background who is very intense, a very intense worker against Becky who can turn on that gear immediately and go 100 miles an hour and be the most over person in the business. You have a heel like a Shayna Baszler and you have a baby face like Becky. You put them in the same situation you put Ronda in last year except... This time, it's not going to be three women. It's not going to be three women this time. It's going to be two. Shayna, Becky, two titles on the line. That could be another moment for either Becky. Maybe it makes Shayna Baszler's career. Maybe Shayna is the one to finally dethrone Becky after a whole year of her holding that Raw Women's title. Maybe. But if I'm booking this match, I have Shayna Baszler pin or submit Bailey. I do not have Becky and Shayna in any sort of ending outcome. Bailey is the one that eats the loss. She gets pinned, she gets submitted, she does whatever. Bailey's the one. Bailey, she has an out. If she loses this, that's whatever. That's whatever. This storyline has always been between Becky and Shayna. Bailey always has this one glaring story. The one moment that either Sasha turns on Bailey or Bailey turns into Sasha, that's going to be the make or break moment of both of their main roster runs. Because that's going to be one of the hottest segments in the business. Look back at NXT. They did it. It worked great. So maybe this is the year we have. Sasha and Bailey in in WrestleMania. Maybe it happens. And on the other side, we got Becky and Shayna. Maybe it happens. You have two really good women's feuds going into Mania. You have this story where the best friends turn on each other. One has the title, one does not. One gets jealous, attacks the other one, befriends the other one. It's one of those stories that everybody's always going to get behind. Even though Bailey's heel right now. Maybe Bailey. Maybe she she gets egotistical. She she gets you know what I'm the champion. You couldn't live up to me. Treat Sasha like she's nothing. 
then Tasha becomes a baby fish. Either way, it's a great story. And then on the other side of things, you've got another great story. This big bad heel that ran through NXT multiple times in Shayna Baszler against this baby face Becky Lynch that everybody, everybody loves Becky. They might not love her as much as they did last year, but put her in this situation with Shayna, could easily get back on the track with Becky and get her very over. And instead, this year, you could have the baby face lose. Maybe. Maybe. But I will be rooting for Shayna. I do think Shayna will win this match. I think this match could be very, very good. I think it will be very good. I think Becky's going to bring it. I think Shayna's going to bring it. And I really hope Bailey brings it. Bailey, she she is probably going to be the one losing here, but I really hope they do give her some good spots in this match because I think it could be something very good this weekend. Next, we got another brand supremacy triple threat tag team match. We got the Viking Raiders overall versus the New Day of SmackDown. Burst the undisputed era of NXT. Now, looking at this, you have obviously the Viking Raiders, who's put on great matches in NXT in the past, and perhaps could have a very good match here. You have the New Day. You got Biggie and Kofi, which we've all seen the New Day multiple times. And then you got the undisputed era, who's going to be making their main roster debut, sort of on a pay per view, um, here. If I'm booking this, I'm doing one of two things. I'm either having Undisputed Era go out and destroy Survivor Series, go 3-0, or I'm having them go 0-3. And, and if they go 0-3, the then they're going to take over both shows on their own. They're not going to wait on NXT to wait until a whole year. They're going to take it on their own. I don't know where to go here. I don't know where to go. The, the easy cop-out is to say the New Day, because... Everybody always, if you want somebody to always fall back on, it's always the New Day in tag team matches. The WWE never fails to give the New Day their moment. They never fail. Don't get me wrong. I love the New Day, but they never fail to give the New Day their moment. Sometimes somebody else delivers the moment. The New Day will get it. I'm going to go out on a limb, and I'm going to say, you know what? Undisputed Era will be winning this match. Bobby Fish, Kyle Riley, book it. Give me him. I'm taking them. I don't know if they pin the New Day. I don't know if they pin the Viking Raiders. I don't really know what's going to happen. Maybe, maybe instead of Eric and Ivar getting pinned, maybe perhaps something of the nature of the Viking Raiders hit a Viking experience on a Kofi Kingston. And maybe perhaps both members of the Undisputed Era play their cards right, get both men out of the ring at the right time, pin, pick a nice little cheap pin up over, over Kofi. Maybe that's what happens. But give me the Undisputed Era. Next, we got a long one for me to say, man. Team Raw, the women's match, is going to be Charlotte, Natalia, Asuka, Kyrie Sane, and Sarah Logan versus SmackDown, who's going to be Sasha, Carmella, Dana Brooke, Lacey Evans, and Nikki Cross versus Team NXT, which has not been determined yet. Now, looking at this, I'm thinking maybe... Because I don't know if this is going to happen on... Because I'm making this before Friday. So I could very I could be a, very wrong on whatever I say here. But I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to mention five names in the women's match that could possibly make it. And I think should be in there. Give me a Tony Storm. Give me Rhea. Give me Chelsea Green. Give me Deanna Peraza. And are we doing four or five? We are doing five. So give me... Now, this is going to be awkward because the night prior, they are going to fight against each other. But let's let's forget about that for brand supremacy. Io Shirai. Give me Io Shirai. That would be a great match. That would be a great match. Um, do I think NXT is going to be in this match? Absolutely not. I am sorry, NXT. I, I think this is probably going to be the one match of the night where you possibly... Don't even... You'll probably take the pin in this match, if I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I imagine that Team SmackDown's going to win because they have Sasha, they have Mella, they got Dana, they got Lacey, they got Nikki. When I look at Raw, it's really just Charlotte, Oscar, and Kyrie. Sarah Logan and Natalia aren't anything too special. 
maybe Dana Brooke on the other team ain't great, but when I look at SmackDown, they have a lot more prioritized um, superstars with Sasha, obviously, Mella, obviously, Lacey, obviously, Nikki, obviously being with Bliss, but I, I, I'm just going to say SmackDown's going to win simply because Sasha's on it, man. I will probably be rooting for SmackDown. We'll see how things go. Depends who's on the NXT team who I'll be rooting for, but I'm going to take SmackDown as of now. Now, we are in a similar situation for the Monday Night Raw side of the 5-on-5-on-5 five five, on five men's Survivor Series match for brand supremacy. We are going to go with Raw, Seth Rollins, Drew McIntyre, Kevin Owens, Randy Orton, and Ricochet versus SmackDown, Roman Reigns, Mustafa Ali, Braun Strowman, King Corbin, and Shorty G, Chad Gable. I feel so bad just calling him Shorty G, so I just call him Chad Gable after Shorty G. Um, versus Team NXT. Now, Team NXT could be any one of these members that have all of a sudden been on this rampage attacking um, main roster guys. So maybe we get a Velveteen Dream. Maybe we get a Tommaso Ciampa, a Dijakovic, perhaps a... Uh, a Johnny Morrison, like I said in the last video, just because it's a big moment, man, really. And maybe, shoot, give me, maybe give me a, give me a Johnny Gargano. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't know who to really tell you who should be added into that match, honestly. But the Undisputed Air will probably not be in that match because they got everybody fighting on the show. So we'll see. But I, I really think the Undisputed Air needs to be a big focus point of NXT or of Survivor Series. NXT side of Survivor Series just needs to be a clean sweep from the Undefeated Era. Um, but I'm this is gonna be weird for me to say because I don't think I've said this on on a video before. I've said it on Twitter recently. I'm liking Roman Reigns right now. I am. I like Roman Reigns right now. He's doing great. Look at that. He's at the mid card. He's doing great. Um, SmackDown, Roman Reigns, Mustafa Ali, Braun Strowman, King Corbin, Shorty G. Now I look at Raw, Seth Rollins, McIntyre, Owens, Randy, Ricochet. Obviously, there's a lot more star power on Team Raw. But you got Roman Reigns, Ali, Strowman. I think you can win the match. I think SmackDown is going to win the match. Roman Reigns is Superman. You got Braun Strowman. It ain't no, Strowman ain't Braun. getting pinned. You can bet your bottom dollar that ain't happening. So, I'm going to go, and I'm going to go up in the limb, and I'm going to say SmackDown wins this match because because I got NXT winning the Shayna match. I got I got the, I got NXT winning. I got SmackDown winning. I got SmackDown winning. Raw. You ain't win a match yet. You ain't won a match yet, Raw. And that is going to continue because the United States champion, AJ Styles, versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Yes, I know it's Shinsuke. The Intercontinental Champion. And then my boy out of NXT, part of the Undisputed Era. My boy. Yeah, Roddy Strong, boy. North American champion. It's going to be at at Survivor Series. So. Who who do you think I'm going to pick to win? Who? Did I not just tell you? Everybody at the Undisputed Area is going to need to win at Survivor Series. I'm going Roddy. Give me that boy, Roddy. Next, we got The Fiend. Bray Wyatt versus Daniel Bright. Now, this match is going to be good. I can't wait to see the Bray Wyatt character in person. I can't wait to see Daniel Bryan go at it. Last time I seen Daniel Bryan in person was actually Mania 34. I did not see him at the SmackDown show. I don't believe. I don't think I did. Um, but I've not seen Daniel Bryan in person since WrestleMania 34. So it's been a while, Daniel. So we'll see, man. We'll see. Um, do I think Daniel Bryan has a chance to win this match? Absolutely not. Give me Bray Wyatt. I'm sorry, Daniel. I really am. I don't think you have a shot. What is it that um, uh, Vincent Kennedy McMahon's song says? 
No chance. That's what you got. It's just a matter of time. Because you got no chance. Sorry, Daniel. Next we got... I wanted to say this last, but technically speaking, I would be wrong to say this last because it's not going to be the main event. Adam Cole will be facing my predicted winner, Pete Dunne. That is not confirmed. It could be any one of the three between Pete Dunne, Killian Dane, and Damian Priest. But I'm going to go Pete Dunne. And I'm going to say Adam Cole is undisputed and wins again. Adam Cole is a winner. 2-0 for Adam Cole, baby! 4-0 for the weekend, for the Undisputed Era. They go home. They go smiling. They're happy. Give me Adam Cole retaining his NXT championship. And now, certainly not least, we got Brock Lesnar versus Rey Mysterio in a no-holds-barred match. Now, this match is booked because it favors Rey. Um, I imagine in this match we possibly get a, 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 Dominic, a Dominic scene where perhaps Dominic helps Rey Mysterio out or perhaps... Uh, a Cain Vasquez comes in there. But, I don't, I don't know, man. I really don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you about this match. I don't see how it favors Ray at all. Um, if I'm going to take a wild guess, I'm going to say Brock Lesnar wins the match in about 10 minutes. I really, I, I don't know how long this match can go. I don't. I'm sorry, Ray. I really am, yeah, Ray, but I don't know if you can last. As long as probably Brock can in this type of environment where you can do whatever and the ref really can't stop you. Anyways, make sure you guys stay tuned because I will be going to Chicago for Survivor Series weekend, both shows. I will be showing you guys my live reactions and a review. Um, I'm already losing my voice, so by the time I do my review next Monday on both shows, I'll probably barely be able to speak, so be ready for that if you guys plan on saying that. And Maybe maybe I'll meet some people in Chicago. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys do turn that, that, that bell. Ring it. Make sure you do click the like button. Make sure you guys do click that subscribe button because that always helps out. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys do come back and watch all the other videos on the channel that pertain to wrestling, if that is what you are here for. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time, and I will see you guys Survivor Series Weekend.